watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign, um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you most likely, so if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign, and a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Cancer. So, single cancers, what's up? In the month of November, not so different. I don't, well, hard to remember for sure. There's 12 of you to remember. 24 if you count singles versus couples. But <laughs> um, I feel like cancers had this energy before where you're just like, you're working, 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 working. Like you are so burdened by work. Um, so, in general, that's kind of what's going on for single cancers. But you got to find that time to have fun, okay? Now, I feel like Aquarius also has something single or um, similar for singles. So if you are besties or good buds with an Aquarius, um, you can work on this together, okay? Now, in going out and having fun, drinking, partying, whatever, whatever it is that you do to have fun, book club, <laughs> You want to go out in groups of three in the month of November. Reason why is because you're a lot more approachable that way. You go out in a group of two. You're engaged in conversation. Somebody really cute might be right there wanting to talk to you, and they have a hard time doing that, approaching a, a coupled situation. Whether, you know, it's um, two girls, two males, a male and a female, doesn't matter. That's a difficult situation for them to approach. In a group of four, that's intimidating. Anything more than four is super intimidating. But a group of three... You can easily single out one of the three people and then the other two can engage in conversation and leave you alone. And so then like a new bond can be formed. Does that make sense? Okay, so groups three, very important if you wanna be seen, but you might not be feeling like this is really your month. Your intuition doesn't seem like it's exactly spot on. You might not really know what to do, what you wanna do. You might be feeling a little bit of apathy, not really up to the challenge of finding love in the month of November. Totally understandable when all you're doing is working, right? So what is it that you actually want? <laughs> and they're like, okay, so some of you here are lying to yourself and you're saying like, I totally want the world. Like, I'm open to possibilities, to things that are new. I'm excited about what can come to me. I'm just like trusting of the universe. And they're like, bullshit, bitch. You just don't want to be hurt. Okay? Like, you. this might be cognitively what you want, but you're not putting the feeling behind it, putting the law of attraction to work. Okay? So, it's almost as though stagnation is happening because the timing just feels wrong when all you're doing is working. Now, what is it that you actually need? Oh, before we get there, they say the challenge is to find that enthusiasm, right? To really find it in your heart, play it forward. And then um, to manifest something really stable and happy and joyous, but also fun. Okay, so um, what is it that you actually need in the month of November? And they're like, you need to not, number one, you need to not be a bitch. <laughs> That's hilarious. Maybe all that work is making you crabby. Um, number two. You need to start thinking about what happily ever after looks like for you. Everybody has a different image of what that looks like, right? 
Um, so does that mean that you are going to find someone and just have a bunch of cats? Does that mean that you're going to find someone and have, you know, that picket fence family with, you know, a boy and a girl child? Does that mean that you are going to just be on your own? Um, what does that mean to you? Like, really? That's what you need to focus on. Like, because right now you're so focused on short-term goals. You're not thinking long-term and it's really important that you do because... Yeah, right now things are a little bit challenging and it seems that there are other people out there who want the same things as you long term, but in the short term you don't seem compatible. So um, what is it that we need to do in order to get what we want for the long term? And they're like make deep um, bonds and connections with other people. They're like you might not have been really trying so hard right now and been more like reflecting deep inside of yourself okay and that's a good thing to do the self-reflection but they're like okay time out let's <laughs> like let's let's not just stay within inside a little crab shell we're gonna go out and um you know we can work through our shit like we're always gonna have shit to work through we can work that through with other people with friends with family with with new partners whatever okay so how do you get what you want in general then instead of just in the long term? And they say, really? They're like, stop being defensive and like making excuses to not really get out there. You have to find time for fun this month. They're like, be really super confident. Go on some adventures because new, exciting, passionate, like awesome stuff is out there for you with a lot of growth potential. And it would be a very sexual um sexually exciting relationship actually is what I get but you have to decide that that's what you want okay you really have to feel it that this is what I want start writing things down like this is what I want I just actually made a Facebook post today about how um you know people have people think like oh law of attraction it, it doesn't really work I don't know so I put in my you can just go look at it on Facebook. Basically, a gratitude journal for something that I wanted in advance. Thank you that this happened. Before it happened, boom, happened a few hours later. Totally improbable, totally happened. Your proof is over there on the Facebook page. <laughs> okay, now, what else did I wanna ask? Um, what is it that you need to do to release? To release some stuff so like good new love stuff comes in. And they're like, exactly what we've been talking about. This feeling of like, oh, being single is good for now. Like, it helps me to save money. Like, all of this stuff. Like, I'm just so focused on my career. And then you also need to release this idea of like, I'm so busy. Like, I can't even see straight. Because <laughs> there's people here trying to bring you love. Like, you might not have met them yet, but they're near you. They're right around you. There's love trying. The universe is trying to like give it to you. And you're just like, mm, I'll take, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. See, this is the universe handing the cups, our feelings, emotions, love. Okay. Handing this person love. Is it like, eh, not in the mood? Sets it down. Brings it again. Sets it down. I'll get to it later. Imagine their cups of coffee. Oh, I'll drink it later. Then by the time you go to drink one, it's cold. Okay. So this is, this is your fourth cup. It's your final cup. They're like, we're going to give you three chances. And they're like, just kidding. Here's your fourth one. Last one. Right. Open your eyes. Um, they're like, it's not going to be dramatic. It's not going to be unfair. Like, they're not going to be a douchebag because we've already manifested that we want someone who is good for us that's not going to hurt us. And so they're like, you really just have to have faith in the universe and um, God, Allah, Spirit, guys, whatever you believe in, your higher self, the you know, whatever, that it's coming for you because it totally can in the month of November. So what is your overall lesson? And for cancer singles, I get harmony. You got to feel balanced connection with everything. And that's what we're talking about is totally the imbalance of like working, working, working towards the goal um, on a hobby at actual work, that kind of a thing. All right. So couples, what do we have in general for the month of November for cancer couples? All right. So choosing your battles wisely. You're standing there and assessing like, is this challenge worth it? Like, I can't be guaranteed the outcome. Um, is this the fight I want to pick or I want to let it go? You're not feeling entirely confident 100% of the time. Now, what is it that you should keep doing in your relationship this month? They're like, keep wondering about it, though. 
Like, it's okay to not have, like, a deep knowing for coupled cancers. Like, your energy's a little bit scattered, but it's good. Because you know how they say, like, men think in a straight line, like, they're problem solvers, like, point A to point B. But women think in circles, and they go around and around and around. Well, cancer is not, um, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, by the way. What I'm saying is, like, the cancer energy is kind of like that, where it ruminates. You you go in circles to make sure you didn't leave out any details, and that's kind of what you're doing. So even though it's uncomfortable, and it might feel like things are stagnant or delayed as a result, it's good, because you're not going to miss anything. Um, so, yeah, this is what I was talking about, where it's maybe uncomfortable. You might be feeling alone, like your partner doesn't understand you or where you're coming from. You might not even understand you or where you're coming from. But by the time you get to the end of November, you're feeling more balanced. Emotionally... Maybe not so much. You might not know how you feel about things, but things are logically lining up in your mind. So keep reassessing. You know, typically ruminating is a bad thing, you know, especially when we're thinking about things that are negative. But you're being very logical and balanced about it, so it's okay this month. Now, what is it that you need to stop doing in your relationship? And they say complaining that things are not fair. <laughs> and, um,. They say that, like, following your gut instincts and being, like, really positive and optimistic is a good thing, but you might be listening a little bit too much to what other people have to say, okay? So you're in a relationship and um, you have a certain feeling about something You in, in the context of your relationship. You share that with a friend. They have an opinion on it. And, you know, maybe because they don't have the full picture, their opinion isn't the most valid. So you have to really go with your gut instincts and trust yourself. Okay, now, um, what is your general advice for your relationship in November? And they say, like, you know, even if you're not feeling super confident in the beginning of it, and um, you're trying to, you know, not be a nitpick, and you're trying to figure out which battles do I fight, which ones do I not, they say, like, when things change towards the end of November, they change quickly, and they change for the better. So um, it's just kind of this weird energy for cancel cancer couples, like the first three weeks of November. Um, in general, what can we focus on in regards to our love relationships and being present? <laughs> so important when we're in this kind of a situation about choosing our battles and stuff with our partner it says I live in the present moment and I am able to bring forth the energy of love into my current circumstances so just really consider this um, as you're deciding which battles you're going to fight and which ones you're not so for those cancers who are in between you're either in an on and off again relationship or maybe it's not official what I have here falling in love and it's just easy it's just easy. It's just kind of like being that full energy again, um, being just like totally open and trusting. Like it's like puppy love. Now you might have a few walls up, but they're like, those aren't things that are easily changed and they might be the kind of ones that you hold up your whole life, right? Like for example, if somebody just walked up to you and said like, hey, I love you. It's kind of natural to be like, whoa, weirdo, right? <laughs> um, and, like, it's more about not engaging in shit that's stupid. It's not necessarily walls that are destructive. So go ahead and kind of go with these feelings. Allow yourself to feel them. Um, what else do we have in the month of November for those in on-again, off-again relationships? And they're saying, think about what you want. If you see something you want, go after it and go after it fervently. Is that a word? Because that's the word I heard fervently I think so with enthusiasm go after it with enthusiasm very um very very quickly and for you it's gonna I wonder I can't remember which sign it was maybe it was Virgos who had to be cautious about their text messages and emails and stuff like that for you um this month it's going to be a like best for you to spend time in activities with other people, not necessarily communicating by phone, by text message, by email, that kind of a thing, face-to-face um, -face things, but not just like, hey, let's go to dinner. Like, hey, let's do an activity together. Let's go bowling. Let's um, take a dance lesson. Let's do some archery. Let's color in a coloring book, whatever. But it's actually doing activities is going to help you kind of discern like where you want to be with this person, okay? So whether it's with them or apart from them, like by moving your body somehow with other people, 
you're going to get really clear on things and kind of know the right thing to do in regards to your situation that is maybe kind of in between singles and couples. So that's November and see you in December. Bye.